Vox Populi. We must have arrived right in the middle of the siege. That means the other you and I are probably inside the factory. On our way up to the First Lady. And what happens if we run into ourselves? We won't. How do you know that? Because we didn't. Ah, true. Uh, ow, oh, Vent. I was like, what? <coughs> hey! Oh, that doesn't show up on the recording anyway. GG! I've taken your counsel, and you've done me good service, but I will not hurt the boy. I will see Fink and Comstock burn, but I will not hold the son to account for the deeds of his father. You've misunderstood us. We neither asked you to harm the child. Nor did we promise that yours would be the hand that would set Comstock's world afire. A famous man once said. And a famous man shall say. I may reach the mountaintop. But I fear I shall never visit the valley below. But you mean I won't live to see the... No. It's up to you what matters more. Your part in the play. Or the play itself. Someone is coming. She'll arrive a girl. She must leave a woman. And what makes the difference between a girl and a woman? Blood. Your part in the play. Or the play itself. Turn her into a killer? How? Give the girl no choice. And she will be forced to make one. What? What? Um, okay. I guess. Yeah. Uh, what she said and things and stuff? Cause I'm confused. Whee! I'm nice to go back to Columbia, I guess. Such is the fate of all hoarders and exploiters. Do 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 do. Fuck. We'll have nothing. Those who idled shall toil. Say it. Long live Daisy Chris Roy. Oh shit, this is not good. Okay, well she went to sleep anyway. You go answer for this girl. Let down live! <laughs> you fucking shit me with this. I seriously shouldn't move this. Let's see what happens. Let's never stop fighting. Go to sleep. <sighs> yeah, there's a war coming. You can smell it in the air. Fear, hatred. People dying every day. But how many more will suffer if we rise up? Violence begets violence, I know this. I've seen this. The rational mind argues for a peaceful solution to find a common ground, but what common ground is there to find for a father who watches his child bleed out in the street? How do you deny him his vengeance? I know that fire that burns deep inside. I know it all too well. And when the time comes, will I be able to stay to hand? Well, okay. 
This can only end poorly. I wish I didn't have to be stealthy. The fuck? Okay. Obviously, it's that way. But do I have to like uh, puzzles? Please, God, stop. Sleep, work. Think. Our current state of being, or lack thereof, has left my brother. What's that thing you just picked up? My guess is that it has something to do with that giant clock out there. And that clock has something to do with opening the door to Fink's lab. Interesting. Back to the box of found. Our current state of being, or lack thereof, has left my brother unfulfilled. The biological urge to leave one's mark is strong. And it is not an impossibility. We could instantiate ourselves back in Columbia. Return to an old life for the possibility of creating new. But we died in that world. Returning would mean giving up part of us. Ourselves. We'd become flesh and all that it is heir to. The mysteries of the universe would become once again mysteries. Hmm. So she's kind of been through the same shit, I'm guessing. Oh my god, the warts! Giant clock. Sort of. Looks like the mechanism unlocks certain activities when Fink gives his blessing. So what? We're stuck waiting for the cuckoo to go off? No. We've already found the clock key. We can manually wind it. Open whatever door we please. Sure seems like a lot of work to lock down a few doors. You know, if there's one thing Fink loves, it's a lot of work. What's in leisure, huh? Kind of good drugs we got in leisure. Tranquilizer ammo. Sea slugs. Goddamn sea slugs. Could that Oriental have come up with a more inconvenient fuel for his plasmids? If there is a god, and I've seen more evidence to the contrary than in support, you'd think he'd have put Adam into the belly of a nice little seagull or crow. The cost of all these underwater expeditions are murdering my margins. Huh. Yeah, we're not done yet. I want to go back. How to get that idiot his lock of hair. Can I... Can I? Not yet. One more time. Prayer. This should be interesting. Plus health minus Eve. I can take that hit. Oh my god, Ab. Oh my god. This dude was a fucking drunk. See? That's why I can take that hit. I don't care about the cigarettes. What's it say? You give the sales pitch, I'll provide the snake oil. Sure to impress the... Rube? Rubus? Rubes? Nothing from Washington? I'm not exactly what the last word is. Rubes? Rubies? Rubies? I thought Ruby said a Y in it, but maybe if it's, uh... This motherfucker was a drunk, though, yo. <laughs> Looks like he went down there and got super fucked up to me, but maybe that's just me. Uh, whoa? Again. Whoa? Go, go. Time to go to work! Work, 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 work. And before Fink figures out we're working for Suchong and ridiculousness ensues. Full Eve, half health. I wish I could get some ammo for this thing. 
What do I have for this? Listen, I got oh, I can yeah, use other guns. <sighs> Look, are you there? I miss you. You were the only one who ever... You were my only friend. of your own. Could you humor me then? Please. I think Booker would miss you. Well, good job humoring her, I suppose. It's nice that they're kind of like interwining everything together. Well. Okay, time for you to take a fucking nap. You're not gonna find me. Here's why you're not gonna find me. Oh, it's You know, I don't have anything to fight her with, right? Canceling my ability through walls. A vial of salt. Oh god, how they switch everything over is fucking phenomenal. Just gonna get another one of these. Nope. 